In this example problem, we'll calculate the lattice energy for an ionic compound using the Born-Haber cycle. Our problem reads, calculate the lattice energy for lithium oxide given the sublimation energy for lithium, the first ionization energy of lithium, the bond energy for an oxygen-oxygen double bond, the first electron affinity for oxygen, the second electron affinity for oxygen, and the enthalpy of formation for lithium oxide. To solve this problem, we're going to add together multiple reactions to produce our enthalpy of formation equation, which is 2 lithium solid plus 1 half oxygen gas produces lithium oxide solid. First, we'll use the sublimation energy of lithium to go from lithium solid to lithium gas. In our enthalpy of formation equation, we need two moles of lithium, so we'll multiply this equation times two, which also means that we need to multiply the sublimation energy times two. Next, we're going to remove an electron from the gaseous lithium atom. This corresponds to the first ionization energy of lithium. We'll need to multiply this equation times two again, which means we also need to multiply the first ionization energy of lithium times two. The next step is to break the oxygen-oxygen double bond in oxygen gas so that we have two oxygen gaseous atoms. In our equation, we only need one half mole of oxygen gas, so we'll multiply this reaction times one half, which means we also multiply the bond energy of the oxygen-oxygen double bond by one half. Next, we need to add an electron to our gaseous oxygen atom. This corresponds to the electron affinity of oxygen. Our first electron affinity is negative, which means this is an exothermic process, but our second electron affinity is positive. So it requires energy to add the second electron to the gaseous oxygen anion to produce O2 minus gas. Now we have two gaseous lithium cations and a gaseous oxygen anion, and these gaseous cations and anion will combine together to produce our lithium oxide solid. The energy released during this process is our lattice energy. When we add together all of these reactions, we're going to get the reaction for the enthalpy of formation for lithium oxide. So according to Hess's law, if we add together the enthalpy changes for all of these reactions, we should get the enthalpy of formation for lithium oxide. We can solve this equation for the lattice energy of lithium oxide. And we should get negative 2,859 kilojoules.